hi guys rod here welcome back to my channel for today's video i am going to show you how i will select um some bluegrass guppies uh for breeding and how i'm going to remove the ones with the uh, poor quality so in other words we're going to do a culling procedure on these uh bluegrass guppies so join me in this video guys So let's catch some bluegrass guppies. By the way, guys, this uh, bluegrass here, some of them are ribbon type. And later I'm going to show you, you might catch some of them with a ribbon. Even some of the females have a red color already on their caudal. So we're going to remove that as well. This one, this one I think is good. Oh, and this one is a ribbon type, guys, female. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. guys so if you see that male right there he's still young you know as far as the color it looks good there's no red um, there's no red color on its fins but if you look at the tail right there so I don't know if that's black you know but he's still young so there's still a possibility that uh, the color of uh, its um, caudal fin or color of its tail uh, may still uh, change okay now guys let's see what we have here look at the difference guys so these are the bluegrass guppies uh, but as you can see here in this tank most of them and these are mixed of males and females so here in this tank you see most of them have red colors on their fins so that's definitely a reject so even this one female that big female she has some red colors on her tail so anyway most of the defects here are the color so of course they're bluegrass they're not supposed to be or they're not supposed to uh, have red colors so these uh, guppies in this tank are the ones without the red wash but uh, like I said it depends on the standard also of the breeder or the standard of the one who's doing the uh, selection 
but honestly in my opinion too even though this gap is here doesn't have the red colors on their fins a lot of them are still um, or can still be considered a skull because of the pattern because if you look at the pattern some of them uh, the patterns are not really really good especially the tails but for now since they're still young some of them are still young especially the males so I will monitor them maybe give them uh, maybe another month and let's see if their colors will still change but so for the purpose of breeding the two males the two bigger males which look really old I'm gonna need to remove them so I'm gonna catch those two big males plus like I said the ribbon male you cannot really use use it for breeding purposes so this one A ribbon uh, bluegrass ribbon meal but he's old plus can't use him for breeding and this one is another meal and he's already old so I need to remove that okay and this right here I'm gonna put them in one tank and I'm gonna monitor them see if there will be some good change as far as the patterns guys so, and I'll give you an update on that too so for the meantime these ones right here obviously are considered as rejects or cow so I'm gonna put them together with the other traps so you know they can still produce um, live food for our monster fish okay, so we're gonna put the cal bluegrass gap is here see these guys so these are some of the traps or you know the um, result of like cross breedings between different strains of guppies and some of them are you know the um, the cull or the rejects from some of our strains okay, okay and now guys we're going to transfer the ones that we selected to another tank okay. so, and those are the rest of the bluegrass copies uh, there's still a lot of fry there so maybe in two months time I'm gonna need to do another selection for another culling procedure there for the meantime, let's move this guppies to this tank right here. So I put two small assassin snails there guys to help control uh, the pond snails. anyway so like I said guys I'm 
I'm not so pleased with the quality of these uh, bluegrass guppies but we'll see hopefully they can still produce some uh, better quality ones and I'm going to give you an update on that so for the meantime guys that's it for today's video and hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much to all my subscribers and you all be safe bye